Hi there folks and welcome to Cape Cast. I'm intern Jenna Peasy and today we're here at Hathaway's Pond in Barnstable where we hear there are crazy things beneath the water like cars and tractors and sunken boats. Find out why next. Cape Cast. So we're here with Jerry Cronin, a dive master at the Dive Locker in Hyannis. So Jerry, this pond seems like a pretty normal pond. What lies under the water? This pond probably attracts the um, scuba divers from all over southeastern uh, Massachusetts because it has a, a large amount of stuff for people to see down here. Back in the 70s, is also a 36-foot um, cabin cruiser that was uh, sunk out there on purpose by a former owner of a, of a dive store that's uh, no longer on the Cape. Um, in the 70s as well, uh, a car was stolen, uh, driven out on the ice, and um, the police at the fire department didn't want to go out there and attempt to get it off, so they essentially just waited till the, uh, the car basically just sunk into the pond when the ice melts. So there's all kinds of stuff for us to see out there, the platforms, the boat, the car, um, and it's just an attraction for divers to come down and, and dive here. The stuff that's down there isn't hurting anybody and it's been there for decades and we just take advantage of it and, and dive on it. Okay, so we've talked about a little bit what lies here at Hathaway's Pond, but what about the rest of the Cape? Well, I think um, Cape Cod in general probably has more shipwrecks or as much as many shipwrecks as most places you'd find anywhere in the world. Once you get offshore, the visibility gets much better. Sometimes I've seen 50 or 60 foot of visibility. These, these shipwrecks are essentially time capsules from another era. Artifacts to find, marine life covers them. They look like a flo uh, float in a um, Macy's Day Parade, just loaded with all kinds of anemones. Fish are attracted to them. Just about every kind of fish you could imagine, stripers, tuna fish, um, bluefish, everything just inhabit these wrecks. It's like diving in an aquarium. When you get offshore, man, everything just comes alive because we have a couple thousand shipwrecks around Cape Cod and the, probably the best lobster diving on the planet. For all the other stuff, you get the historical wrecks, you get there's guys who do underwater um, metal detecting and pull up uh, musket balls and cannonballs and uh, rings off the beaches and those are just right offshore in Falmouth where, you know, War of 1812, they're pulling up artifacts from that. The shipwrecks that are off Monomoy are probably the most prized for us because it's the best visibility, it's shipwreck heaven. For a beginner, how much does it cost to start diving? Uh, most dive stores and independent instructors will charge somewhere in the neighborhood of about $500 for a certification class. And then you have to get all the equipment, and you can either rent it for $50 or $60 a day. But if you wanted to buy all your own equipment, the average for the last 15 years has been about $1,500. Cape Cast. 